Generally, aircrafts and helicopters tend to fly in daytime, but sometimes they have to fly during nighttime also. In some locations like hilly areas, valleys, rivers, highways and runways. Aircrafts tend to fly at low altitudes and it becomes very difficult for pilots to notice transmission and communication wires during nighttime. To make these wires visible to pilots, illuminated lightning balls or balisar are used on the transmission lines. These are also known as aircraft warning lights. Balisar is a system of illuminated beacons used on high voltage power lines. These beacons utilize a cold cathode low pressure neon lamp and are primarily used as aircraft warning lights. Here's a bit more detail on how they work, visibility, high voltage power cables, especially those near airports, need to be visible both day and night. During the day, brightly colored balls are used, but at night, the leaser beacons provide the necessary lighting by glowing red, which is the standard color for aviation warning beacons. Power supply, the beacons draw power directly from the high voltage line they are mounted on. This is achieved by using the electric field generated by the high voltage cable to create a potential difference, which then powers the neon lamp. Efficiency, the system is simple, efficient, and reliable, making it an economically viable solution for marking high voltage lines. What is aerial marker ball? The colored plastic balls hanging on overhead electricity conductors are called aerial marker balls. They are installed along the length of transmission line conductors that are normally normally not visible enough to act as a visual warning so low-altitude flying aircraft like helicopters don't run into them. These colorful balls are colloquially called marker balls and are used to protect from crashes of low-flying aircraft and helicopters. Using these blinked aerial balls onto high-voltage transmission conductors actually makes it visible to the pilot from significant distance wires are clearly seen by the pilot. Although you may not have realized it, these balls are commonly used on mountain roads, deep valleys, major highway crossings, and airports. These are all places where aircraft fly at low altitudes, which causes them to get angled in these wires. These aerial balls are proving to be very beneficial not only for aircraft but also for birds. Migratory birds coming from faraway countries can easily see high voltage wires with the help of these balls and avoid getting entangled in them. As told earlier Belisar is a system of illuminated beacons for high-voltage power lines using a cold cathode low-pressure neon lamp used as aircraft warning light during nighttime. High-voltage lines represent a significant danger for aircraft flying at low altitude. The marking of the pylons is not sufficient to ensure the necessary safety given the very long spans. The Belisar system ensures the marking of high-voltage conductors by extracting the energy necessary for its operation from the line. It is perfectly autonomous and guarantees a constant light intensity whatever the line current. The Belisar co corresponds to a low-intensity fire in the IKO nomenclature. During the daytime, brightly colored balls are placed along the length of the cables are sufficient. But, during night lightning is necessary. These illuminated beacons provide this light by glowing red. Red is the standard color used in aviation for warning beacons. Belisar is a system of illuminated beacons for high-voltage power lines using a cold cathode low-pressure neon lamp, used as an aircraft warning light. Now, one question might came in your mind that, how these illuminated beacons glow on such wires which are very high from ground, how their maintenance is done, let's discuss working principle of Belisar, it obtains a power supply directly from the high-voltage cable on which it is mounted. As we know that it is difficult to obtain a very small amount of energy from a line which transports an enormous amount. Hence, its working principle is very interesting because it uses a phenomenon which is usually considered as weakness. As we know that, each high-voltage cable creates an electric field around itself. This thing is considered as weakness but in the case of Belisar it helps to glow beacons. A conductor is placed parallel to the high-voltage line. As, there is already an electric field present due to high-voltage cable, so it will create a potential difference between high-voltage cable and newly placed conductor. However, this conductor is insulated from the main cable. In series with the conductor, a cold cathode low-pressure neon lamp is placed as you can see in the picture below. The conductor and main cable have some potential difference between them, so they will behave like a capacitor having air gap as a dielectric medium. This potential difference is, is sufficient to discharge the neon lamp. The beacon blows red which can be clearly seen by the pilots during night to avoid any loss of life and infrastructure. 
However, this system will not work when the lines is switched off because there will be no electric field and hence no potential difference to discharge the lamp. Features of Belisor, it is a combination of cold cathode low pressure neon lamp and capacitor charged conductor. These are installed with the help of insulators on the high voltage cable. They are installed at the range of every 70 meters on the runways and every 105 meters on the other places like hilly areas, river etc. These Belisor or illuminated lightning balls has a lifespan of 15 to 20 years. Advantages and disadvantages, reliable and robust beacon, very economical, long life of around 15 to 20 years, will not work when line is switch off, will not work on HVDC power lines. High voltage power cables, particularly those close to airports, need to be visible day and night. During the day, brightly colored balls positioned along the length of the cables are sufficient, but during the night, lighting is necessary. These beacons provide this lighting by glowing red the standard color used in aviation for warning beacons. The system is extremely simple, efficient and reliable and is considered the most economically viable solution. Its working principle is attractive, because it uses a phenomenon usually considered as a weakness. However a large disadvantage is that it does not work when the line is switched off. Operating principle, the interest of the system lies in the way it obtains a power supply directly from the single cable on which it is mounted. It is difficult to obtain a very small amount of energy from a line which transports an enormous amount. Each high voltage cable creates an electric field around itself, in the same way as any live electrical conductor. When the electric potential of such a cable is sufficiently high, its electric field causes a significant voltage difference between the cable and its immediate neighbor. It is the strength of the electric field that makes it difficult to use low powers. As a result, a second conductor a few meters long, insulated from but parallel to the high voltage cable, will have a potential different from that of the main cable. Together the conductors make a capacitor charged across an air gap dielectric. Under certain conditions, the accumulated charge and hence the potential difference is sufficient to trigger a discharge lamp. This what is used in practice, giving a reliable and robust beacon. Conductor marking lights are a particular type of aircraft warning lights designed for overhead power lines. They are visible at night, unlike overhead wire markers which rely on daylight. Power distribution on overhead power lines, often suspended to widely spaced masts, represents an almost invisible obstacle to low-flying aircraft, requiring the installation of warning beacons on the masts themselves. A simple and cost-effective solution to this problem is installing the marking lights directly on the wires. Nevertheless, there are significant technical difficulties to a low-cost extraction of power from a distribution system which carries high voltages and wide-range AC current. Moreover, the warning system should not add to the existing power distribution lines the burden of additional cabling, with its potential serious isolation problems. These facts rule out the recourse to conventionally powered light sources. Power supply, the ideal warning light must be able to power itself while clamped to a single wire of the line. Lights may be powered either from the electric field surrounding the energized wire, or the magnetic field produced by current through the wire. The first approach takes advantage of the high electric potential gradient between conductors, but a strong enough capacitive coupling is requested to allow capacitive extraction of the power required from the warning light. This means that long conductors must be suspended parallel to the line using glass ceramic isolators, in fact several meters of suspended conductor are generally required, total length being inversely proportional to the line voltage. The second approach is based on Faraday's law of induction involving magnetic flux flowing through a circuit which powers the warning light. Inductive coupling device, this beacon is powered by the magnetic field surrounding the power distribution wire and uses an electronic circuit integrated in a compact clamp on warning light. The operating principle is that of a Rogowski coil, similar to a current transformer. This solution is usually intended for medium and high voltage lines up to 440 kV. However inductive coupling devices are able to work on any AC at 50 Hz or 60 Hz, from 15 up to 2000 amps. Warning line markers, power line warning markers and bird diverters provide an excellent visual warning. This can be for birds, low-flying aircraft, mining plant and construction equipment where accidental contact or collision is at risk. Bird diverter and warning marker range are purpose-built and designed to provide an engineered outcome. 
They can be installed for both temporary and long-term demarcation of power lines, cables, wires and conductors. Power lines always pose a great threat to avian species worldwide. The ratio of avian mortality increases due to collision with power lines, whether it's electricity transmission tower or distribution networks. The thrust of being more and more modernized, where electricity plays an important role, unfortunately, the major part of the world is found to be surrounded by threatening power lines. The power line network acts as a very dangerous barricade, as they lead to an effective hindrance between feeding and resting paths of avian species. The most common sufferer in the said cause are species with a huge body and low frontal vision. Weather conditions over the years also play a major role in increasing the risk of collision and led to increased mortality. Collision is always considered as an effective cause of death different from electrocution. Avian species and agile birds which normally migrate during the night at an average height of 20 to 50 meters, flying in groups are found to be less affected in comparison to others. The probability of evaluation and mitigation of power transmission networks considered to be the most affecting features of avian mortality. Others factors affecting avian species populations, habitation, destruction of breeding colonies, illegal hunting, collisions with electric power lines. Around the globe researchers well elaborated the said problems in multiple ways and also suggested the most suited line marking devices to reduce mortality due to collision with power lines. Where bird diverter is the most common name always. Installing these bird diverters can be considered as the most effective as well as an economical solution when it comes to collision with power lines.